I had never heard of the Holocaust. I made my first visit to the museum. I was in ninth grade. I knew the name Hitler. I knew who the Nazis were because of Indiana Jones. I walked through the door, and the first person I see was James Fleming. So after the tour, I asked, you know, how did you uh, become so versed on this? This is when he told me about the Bring Lessons Home program. Those first few weeks, it was us really getting to know each other. We were all coming from different schools, as well as learning more about the history and the permanent exhibition. I was kind of going deeper. The Holocaust didn't happen in a vacuum. It took people to ignore what was going on around them. This is something that we also teach our young people, is that there is something that you can do. Your voice does matter. I see this kind of as a place that allows you to not only learn about this history, but to learn more about who you are as a person and who you may become. I came from another country to learn English, and I was really interested in learning more about the history of, uh, of the Holocaust. Mr. Deveni, uh, he was my English teacher. He said, I think you will be great for you to participate in this program, and that is how I started. When I started the program, there were possibly like 15 to 20 students. Of course, Ms. Williams, Mr. Brown, they were very supportive, always there. I definitely remember Mr. David Clement. He was very passionate about what the topic, what he was teaching. He was very knowledgeable. It was little by little, gradually, that I became more, I mean, uh, comfortable and even participating in the classes. Daniel's story then stopped a lot for me. I was a high school student then, and now that I'm also a mother, it's always appealing. As a counselor, I definitely work very hard to help students understand that they always have choices. I look for resources within the school and in the community to help them find meaning. Bringing the lessons home was an experience that uh, changed my life forever. I am honored that I was given that opportunity to be part of the program. I instantly felt at home. I loved that family atmosphere. You know, James walked in there like everyone's big brother. And somehow you could understand these horrible, atrocious things without becoming dark inside yourself, and I loved that. Before the program, we'd read Night in School, but we had not gone into the history um, the way I'd wanted to, and I think that might have been what pushed me to be an educator in this field. I did an intensive course on the Holocaust in Warsaw, Poland. There's memorials on every building in Warsaw. And then I decided to go to Uganda, and I got an internship in Kampala. When I returned from Uganda, um, Holocaust Museum Houston had an opening. I'm the assistant director of education here, and my main focus is teacher and student training. We do sometimes have these really interesting groups that come in for special lessons. For example, the A Plus Unlimited Potential School. They're fascinated with the world around them, and they are fascinated with being different. They're encouraged to interact with educators on an adult level, which makes them a really fun group to work with in teaching them not to be bystanders, because they know that they're different. It's not like this is something that you can test on, but I'd like to think that if they understand that the Holocaust happened, and that Darfur is happening right now, and that there are issues that they can act on, I think that's the change that we're making. And it's slow, and it's small, but it's there. Part of what was so great about bringing the lessons home was we were treated with respect, and we were expected to be able to handle what is a horrible, horrible event. Education is more than what happens in school. And I think if you take human rights as an applied ideal, we go about our everyday existence ignoring human rights violations all around us. It was that same kind of self-interest, lack of empathy that allowed the Holocaust to occur. Well, that's not me, that's them. I'm fine right now. 
Um, and that, that really scares me. So here at Mid Peninsula Boys and Girls Club, we're really big on creating empathy and spreading awareness the way that bringing lessons home did for my groups and so many other classes after my classes. Again, it's back to the respect. Respect your fellow Mid Peninsula Boys and Girls Club member just because they're here. Another way that we try to actualize it is leadership programs for our older youth. And we really love taking a small group of kids, asking them to look out for each other, and then the younger kids or the followers will really incorporate that. Looking back 20 years later, I mean, there is part of me that wishes that we were at a place where maybe these programs weren't needed, but also just amazed to know that, okay, 20 years later, that means that there are hundreds of us ambassadors out there, and there's probably thousands of more people whose lives we've touched by giving tours or any of the other great programs. That actually makes me feel really, really proud um, and, and gives me a lot of um, hope for the future. There's videos of survivors on the last floor talking about their experiences, and I remember just sitting there for maybe half an hour or longer. It opened my eyes to what I should be doing. I believe that we're only here for a set amount of time on Earth, and the least I can do is, you know, give back. Liberty North Korea is a nonprofit organization that focuses on changing the narrative of what's being talked about the country. We want to focus on the people of North Korea, and so we do that through presentations all over North America and using social media to do that as well. And we also rescue and resettle North Korean refugees um, in South Korea and the United States. As a 15-year-old, learning about the Holocaust, that gave me this passion for human rights. The Bringing the Lessons Home program is more than just a history class. This is such a great way to, you know, really change your perspective on things and to open up your mind to other concepts and other ideas out there. Doing this program makes you into a better, a better global citizen in general. core thing is this history, because that's what brings us all together. But what I see Bringing a Lesson Home doing best for many of the youth that have gone through this program is it's helped them discover things in them that they may not have known. And I, I believe Bringing the Lessons Home, you know, it, it helps build your character. It helps you define who you are.